what is happening? It's OSA Live on what day? Wednesday. Wednesday. I didn't know what day it was. <laughs> on a Wednesday. You guys had a guy. So if you guys. Tuesday. Wait, today's not Tuesday. Today's totally Wednesday. <laughs> All right. So if you guys didn't know, you guys go back today early and check out the live video I did with this one right here. Uh, Ali did a live video today. It was awesome on all the new saltwater fish. Chris, the bandsaw bandit himself, worked all last week and a half setting up the new setup, and it looks so good. The tanks are loaded. When I say loaded, are absolutely loaded in new saltwater fish this week. Everything's pumped up. The freshwater is looking pretty good. We got a big freshwater order also coming in next week because the following week, not this weekend, but next weekend, it's the big OSA seventh year birthday bash. I Ooh. wish I had a hat on. We're all pumped up, ready to go. I can't wait. That's going to be an awesome event. Remember, that starts at 11 o'clock. You're going to want to get there early. One of the cool things about that is we have Sean Hale from Fritz coming up here. We have Steve Berlin from CJ, which is pretty awesome, heading up here. And we have the entire Waterbox crew, along with Logan from Reef Breeders. And we also have AI Ecotech coming up here as well. And that's what we're talking about tonight. So tonight, before we get going, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the rewind. Woo! Rewind back. I'm also heading out with the Bandsaw Bandit himself this weekend. Chris Kaz and I will be out of here. We're heading out to Macna. So most people are like, oh, we're, we're leaving the state of Florida from the hurricane. No, no, no. We're going to the state of Florida for that hurricane. We're heading on down there this weekend. So Allie, Joe, Ernie, these guys are all in charge all weekend long while the shops pack the fish. But what I want to talk about tonight before we hit for next weekend for the OSA birthday bash is we're talking lighting, not just fresh water, not just salt water. We're talking the bulk. And we're going to hit you guys up with our OSA choice. What we try to do is... There's so many options out there, right? There's so many options. We try to hit you guys up what we think is the best and what works for us for the price cost of what you're getting, for what you're paying, and what you're getting for the buck. So what do you guys want to do? Want to do freshwater, saltwater first? You know what? I'm going to jump to freshwater with freshwater Joe pumping out the videos this what week. What is going on, guys? Uh, if you did not already, go check out our latest two YouTube videos. Uh, They're both live on the channel. Uh, there are links uh, from Facebook to YouTube that you can go and watch them. Um, make sure you give them a view. But anyway, so we're talking about aquarium lighting for your fresh water tank today. So uh, as far as <laughs> as far as just uh, you know a normal freshwater aquarium uh, with just fish, um, you can use really any sort of lighting. Um, a good example, I'm gonna grab it right here for you guys. And this goes for saltwater too. If you're just yeah. doing a fish only, yeah. so um, you can really run any light. You don't need anything special uh, for just your fish. Um, obviously you do not want to go too strong on light because, uh, you know, any extra, extra nutrients in the aquarium is going to promote algae growth. Um, so here at the shop, we currently have the Reno fixtures, a uh, little inexpensive, uh, freshwater lighting, uh, that you guys can pick up for your fish only freshwater aquariums. Uh, they provide a good, um, kind of daylight spectrum color for them, uh, that you're gonna, you know, enjoy that color. It's going to make the fish colors pop. Uh, so really good little cheap and expensive fixture. If you want a little bit brighter, grab two of them. Uh, you won't be disappointed with these guys for just your fish only. We also have those for marine water, or yes, marine yep. tanks as well for a fish only. We definitely won't do anything for corals, but it, it'll light up your tank. Yeah. It's just to get illuminating the attack, right? Yes. It's just, that's all it is. What I like about sometimes with the little lighting too like that is you don't get as much algae growth as well. Yep. So with that, it just helps you to, you know, kind of bright up your tank, give some lighting to the tank without going crazy but it's also a cheap, affordable fortune as well. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So you can put a timer on them, uh, you know, a little digital analog timer uh, that plugs right into them, and you can have them on for, you know, the three hours that you guys are home eating dinner or whatever, you're enjoying the fish tank. Um, you don't need to go crazy on, uh, you know, a giant lighting spectrum. Actually, I want to talk about that real yeah. quick. One of the biggest issues we see here is, especially if you're getting into tanks, you never had a tank, fish tank at all, is we got to go back to 101 and go back to basics. A lot of times, lights are left on way too long. You really want to put, if you don't have a timer on your light, put your light on a timer. You're going to want to definitely do about no more than 8 oh, to 10 hours sales. a day on that light. Because what happens is, say if you just like, oh, I'll turn it off when I go to bed or I turn it off. A lot of times you forget, and then that's how we start running into phosphate issues and other issues from there as well. Just do yourself a favor, get yourself a timer, and get yourself a lighting system that's already hooked up to an app that's on that as well. What do we got next? So that's what we're going to go into next. Uh, the next line that we offer is actually going to grow plants as well. So we brought in the uh, Flubel series uh, 3.0 LED lights. Uh, this one right here that I'm showing off right here is the Nano. 
Uh, this is going to be good for, you know, smaller aquariums, uh, hence the name Nano, uh, 10 gallons, 20 gallons, you know, some type of cube shape as well. Um, what's really cool about this, uh, uh, this light is it is fully controllable. All the spectrums you can ramp up, ramp down. You got the whole nine. It has a very intuitive app that you can control <laughs> as uh, my partners are showing it off over here. But uh, it's, it does the daylight spectrum that you guys are looking for, 6,500 Kelvin. Uh, that's what this light does. Uh, it's going to grow most of uh, high-end uh, plants as well. Um, it will benefit if you got CO2 injected and the nutrients in the aquarium as well. Um, you know, a good planted substrate and a good liquid fertilizer or root tabs, whichever you so choose. Um, and then the other light we got for your large- You use this one before Joe hits on that. This, uh, when we do the water box 10 gallons, so it's all in one. Yeah. Those are very popular with us. This is like our number one choice for that, especially even if you're doing just, you know, fish, or if you're doing plants, it just the fish look great, fantastic, and the plants grow. That's what we want. We want you to be successful. This is a great light to get you into be successful. Yeah. So then, uh, for all of you that have a little bit larger um, of an aquarium, we got the uh, the flubles as well. The uh, you know the longer strips. Uh, we got them in what three different sizes. Yep. They go up to 40, uh, 48 inch. We use those up yeah. to a fifty. Yeah. So 24, 36, 48, and they're all adjustable too with the little sliding arms on them. And those are fantastic light. They yeah. do very well. The uh, They're Bluetooth ready and they're very easy to use. And one of the biggest thing is they grow plants. Yep. All the plants you see behind us, we have no high tech tanks. When I say high tech means we have no CO2, nothing CO2 yep. injected. Everything here is grown controlled by uh, nutrient import, export, and by lighting systems. Yep. That's completely true. And for the cream of the crop, the top of the line, freshwater light that you guys can purchase here at OSA or on OSAchoice.com is the Freshwater Prime HD, that if you guys have been in the shop, they're hanging above every one of our aquariums here. Uh, they do a fantastic job. I'm able to control the entire lighting spectrum on these guys. Same as the Fluval. Um, I think it is just a little bit more intuitive and easier to control. Um, more of a millennial style app, if you know you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a little <laughs> easier to you, I know exactly what you're saying, Joe. Yeah, so, I mean, I can give you guys a little preview over here. I can make the lights behind me. Uh, we do some little dances while Scott talks. The whole tank behind us, all the tanks behind us, and all the plants that we're growing are on AI Primes. And these actually worked out fantastic. Also, when we do the water boxes, so like any of the, the newer clear series that we have up to the four footers, these are the lights that we use, especially when it comes down to live plants. Or if you just want to do a fish only, because what no well, freshwater fish, they just the fish look immaculate, the tank looks unbelievable, and the artificial decor. And you can actually see Joe right now behind us is just messing with these lights. He's letting them go. You yeah. can even put them in a party mode if you oh, wanted yeah. to. Ready? And it's Hold on. Well, I'm Wait waiting for it now. I'm just waiting for it. But it's so easy to control the access sort of thing, but it's they're designed to grow lights. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend them for your porridge. Yeah. But. So <laughs> for me, it's cool for like a second. a second. You'll use it one or two times to press your friends after that. You'll never use it again. That's the truth. <laughs> I'm going to say that much. Yeah. But they're great light overall growth, what we got out of the plants and everything else. So this is our number one plant light that we choose on OSAchoice.com. This is the one, one we use in the store. If one under this is when we get into the Fubal plant, the 3.0s. And they've been fantastic. We do want you, we want you to be successful, and that's what works for us, and we want you to be able to use that. What else? Anything else you want to get into, Joe? Um, I think that's it for right now. If I think of anything else, I'll come back to it. But we can, I think we can uh, move on over to the saltwater realm. All righty. We're bringing Allie on from the saltwater realm. Saltwater, we have more choices, right? So there's many, many choices. Freshwater has a lot of choices, too. But for us, we have a little bit more saltwater choices that we could say. It's Sean Hale. Fritz <laughs> is the best. Is the best. <laughs> Uh, for salt water, when it comes down to the lighting system is we try to give you guys options and what uses we try to go from the budget and what works out us. Allie, what do you want to get into first? All right. So when you're first starting out and you're just learning and you're not ready to start spending a ton of money yet because you don't really quite know what you're doing. Um, and you have a smaller tank, you're starting with like a nano tank. Um, this is like one option I really, really like. This is the Coral Box Moon LED. Uh, it's a good light. It's good for the price point, and it's um, great for, like, a nano tank. Uh, it's also controllable from your phone, which is cool. You know, and that's uh, all the different LEDs in there. So you see we get all the spectrum in there. Um, I would use this, moment, like I said, mainly on a nano tank, and if you're only, like, I would say. A 10 to 20. Like a 10 to 20 gallon tank. Um, but it's a really good light for the price. 
Um, definitely good for if you're just beginning. For what this costs, it's around 200 bucks. Uh, for what this costs, which again, it has a little mount to hang it off the back for a 10 to 20 gallon. It has full spectrum. It is app controlled. What I do like about it, it has really an LPS button that you can hit into. It. And it's great to learn on. It's for an inexpensive, for a price point to what you're paying, what you're getting. This is a really good one to go on. So I'm going to say the Coral Box for the starting off the nano the coral box moon led plus this is a good one to start off to really get you going inside especially if you want to have a reef aquarium what is next Allie? all right so next um we're gonna go again with another reef readers we just wow. love logan and reef readers so i love logan he's my favorite <laughs> um it's a little big we put it in there um so this is the photon so these are really <laughs> <laughs> these are really great leds um Again, you know, they're good for the price. They're a little bit more, you know, obviously they're more expensive, but they're a really, really nice light for what you're getting. Uh, also, app, uh, not app controlled, sorry, excuse me. Um, but you have a controller and you can control every light spectrum. And it's a little a little bit more complicated, I guess, because you have to go through each hour. The initial setting yeah, just takes setting. a minute. All right. And then once you get there, it's that, easy. It's definitely easy once you have the initial setting. What I like about it is the streamline. It's very streamlined. Yes. It's like and it's hooked up. Not everybody, I know, I know. You have to understand this. Not everybody wants to use an app, especially when we do services mm -hmm. and things like that. Sometimes the app gets us in more trouble <laughs> than it's worth. Especially so, like I kind of like having the controller on it. Technology can fail. So yeah, um, so it's like nice having the controller. The reef breeder's light is definitely been what we go for thing and i love the customer service support customer service support is fantastic logan does an amazing job the warranty you get through him he's always there to help you fix it that's why we've gone so much into reef breeders because of what they've done for us what we've seen them do for everyone else and we really get fantastic results so if you want to play in the game you have a four foot tank you want to start off into it i'm gonna say right now a reef breeders light led photon b2 is definitely a way to go it can give you a good shutter uh shimmer too which is pretty nice that i've noticed and i i have them on both of my tanks and i really really enjoy them I like them a lot and they also have really good uv on them too so you know we're always looking for a good uv spectrum so they're good at that too so i really i really recommend them um they're like probably middle ground as far as you know if i think you're high end that's you know, gonna be up to personalized room. things you it know is. i know some of the biggest sps guys that use the reef yep. it's up to your choice and that's what it comes out so i call it all the say choice it's what you like works for you and these are like if we were doing an install that's always our number one choice that we you try to get you on to depending on what you're trying to get and what you're going for i've had great growth with it so i highly recommend it what's sure. next um so next would be the ai prime so these are really great lights they're um again they've got all these leds here they, you do have to buy multiple if you have a bigger tank, of course. So this is only going to cover a certain, I think it's 24 by 24. 24 by 24. I think it's 24 by 24. So if you have anything bigger than that, you're going to need multiple of them. But they're a wonderful light, just like the freshwater ones. Uh, very, very easy yeah. to use when they're on the app as well. So they're a really high quality light. We really recommend You want to go from a 10 to a 20. These are the ones that we use when we're trying to do like more small tanks, sometimes we'll use, all right, best one is the uh, all-in-one by Waterbox, the 50 gallon. Yes. We'll use two of these on the 50 gallon all-in-one. And we get really fantastic results, simple. Hook up the link, link up the app, ready to go from there. Now you want to go up, say if you're doing a bigger tank, say if I'm going to do a water box four footer, right? I'm going to go on to, ladies and gentlemen, the Hydra 26 HD. Um, again, a really good light. AI is really good. And the other cool thing too, I think you can also, if you have it on your app, you can share it, share your light spectrum with somebody else that also has one. The only thing you gotta, I gotta tell you guys, watch on. I mean, this and with any other lights, you gotta watch them from overheating. You gotta make sure the fans are kept clean. You gotta be on top of maintenance. Just like a fish tank, you gotta be on top of maintenance on your light. One of the biggest issues we run into is salt creep getting all over the light, uh, water, and then that's when you start running into issues. Fans will blow, and that's that's the first place where you're gonna have a problem with failure. Definitely. And again, you can control all the light spectrum on there with your app, just like he was doing on his for the fresh water, yep. and with the Prime as well. And then so definitely a good light. The, these guys, we go up there all the way up to, we don't have 52 here, do you? Uh, no. no. Now, you guys can use these up to the 52. So, like, you could do, when we start hitting the six-foot tanks or bigger, that's when we start using the Hydra 52s. That's where we go in there. One of, uh, one of our clients, Jacks that has a massive, massive setup. We did a solar system, and they work fantastic. You just got to make sure when you use these lights, you don't jack up the lighting system all the way because that's one of the biggest issues. LEDs sometimes are so strong, especially with the box, that you don't you don't burn out your coral. So you want to take your time. You want to grow up. Watch how high you keep those up. What is happening next? All right. Oh, the cream next. de la So creme. this is the <laughs> definitely the highest in light you can go. It is, of course, the Ecotech Radions. 
So these are probably the best lights you can get right now on the market. Uh, we use them on all of our reef tanks downstairs. And of course, we've had amazing growth with them. And they're also really, really good if you're trying to connect multiple of them. So for us, it worked out really well. The controllability was great because we have so many on one reef link. So that's the other thing. If you have multiple, so say you have two on one tank, you're going to have to have like a reef link to, to put them, uh, to link them. The together. only issue I have is, I'm going to say the reef link, anyone that has a reef link when you start them off, we do have issues sometimes linking them up. But honestly, what you get for growth and how the corals look, yeah. The corals look so sweet. I gotta really say, do. they look so good, and I got I'm, I'm super happy with them downstairs. They've done a fantastic job. Some of the corals just glow. I tell you, my Fabias look absolutely awesome. <laughs> I can't get enough of them. Yeah, and I gotta say, if you want the best of the best, I'm gonna say the Radeon Gen 4s Pros. These are definitely no question about it. Whether you want the XR 15s or the XR 30s, um, the I'm gonna say these are the best lights out there for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, these would be the ones you'd get if you had a bigger tank. They do a wider range, and then the um, XR15s would be the smaller if you had a smaller tank. But these are definitely a great light, for sure. That's fantastic. Anything else you want to add, Allie? Um, I mean, basically, just if you're getting, whenever you buy new corals, or if you're changing lights. So if you went from, say you had you started out with a lower-end light, and then you want to upgrade, just watch, you know, like he said earlier, start on a lower setting and slowly ramp them up they are very strong leds are strong lights so um just make sure you take your time with that and then when you buy new corals too a lot of times you want to start them start them lower in the tank and then move them up so we're not burning any of our corals but yeah so that's about it with lights tonight just want to show you guys some of the choices available here at the OSA and OSAchoice.com. We want to make sure you guys get ready. We got Richard D back. If you haven't go check it out, Fish and Auto Channel, make sure you go check that out. I mean, we got some awesome. I just want to give a huge shout out to Sean Hale from Fritz. That is our boy. Everything I've said, everyone knows RPM has done what we do our entire saltwater section in, along with all of our services, all in Fritz RPM Pro. And we're getting ready for MACNA this weekend. And again, Ali, Joe, and Ernie are ahead of the whole shop. And next weekend, I'm telling you guys, you're not going to want to miss this event. Yeah, Saturday yeah. is going to be insane. We even have a dunk tank. Did I mention that on here? Yeah. We have a dunk Mark your calendar, tank so. coming Saturday. You can dunk Scott. We have. Yeah. Listen, I don't know if you guys out there. If you guys don't know, Fresh Socks himself, Dean Tapper, right, from oh. Waterbox Aquarium. Make sure you see what I said. You see Waterbox Aquarium. You type in Fresh Socks on that. Dean Tapper's coming up here. We're doing an Aquascape contest between him and myself. Loser has to go in the dunk tank. And I don't know about you guys know this. It's already getting cold. Very cold. That water is going to be absolutely freezing. So here's your chance. The way it comes out of the tap over here. Uh, to oh, see yeah. Dean Tapper get smoked in a dunk tank. I can't wait to see you guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out there all tonight. Uh, everyone else out there, we'll see you guys this weekend. Shop is so loaded in saltwater fish. If you guys haven't checked out the video, I'm going to put the video right here in the comment section. Man, about here anything else you want to add at all um just definitely come hang out with us this weekend um we will be here so we'll be happy to help you with anything and come check out all the brand new fish we got and then of course next weekend oh no this is going to be pretty awesome i gotta say right now so we're waiting for a big water box shipment coming in this place is going to be loaded loaded in an aquarium so if you're looking for a brand new aquarium this place is going to be top to back and if you don't see here it's probably in the back room all right we're getting out of here anything else you guys want to get out uh yeah uh freshwater guys we are getting some african cichlids in uh next sunday uh, oh yes sunday. this sunday, this I sunday. Did, this and we're getting yeah. more saltwater so fish. all of you guys that have been asking for african cichlids and bugging us to get some in <laughs> we are getting a giant shipment of them in uh Ooh. so we're gonna have the back four tanks full with african cichlid peacocks um so it's gonna be loaded it's gonna look awesome we're gonna do the last four tanks all africans it's gonna yeah. it's gonna look sweet we ordered we ordered so, quite a few of them they should be good by monday if you guys are looking to come in and check them out and uh yeah i think that's all i got to say <laughs> can i get to keep it fresh from you keep it fresh baby Woo! keep on reefing baby Woo! <laughs> i'll see you guys later thank you guys for following us check with us every wednesday as we hit osa live we'll talk about something we'll bring you guys in i love all of you guys oh oh before we and i be right Last second, last second, right before you guys. I know I'm just hanging out there, but I just want to say I, I am beyond grateful for all you guys out there because um, if you guys saw the post last time, I was just there building the coral farm is it's just it's like living the dream. Like I feel like I'm living the dream now. Like I get to do what I love every single day with people I love. It's it's the ultimate ultimate feeling. But when you're inside, like would you believe for the conservation and for sustainability of an industry we love so much? 
to be a part of something and not be part of the problem, to help solve the best you can to do something. It's, it's a great feeling. We couldn't do it without you guys. So I can't wait to show you guys over the next month how that evolves. And I really can't wait to show you guys how that's going to evolve over the next six months to a year. And I'm going to take you guys with us, you know, whether it does good, we does bad, all my failures, things, I'm going to show you guys all of it because you know that's how we, we did everything we documented everything from two yeah. frag tanks it kept going so i just want to say thank you guys so much thank you guys for fun we're getting out of here i'll see you guys later as always keep on ripping baby